Hey everyone, the Fetid Bobo here with a little update on the dedicated server tool. So before in the previous video, if you've been following it, we used Steam command to grab the tool. Now they've made it available through the Steam library. I recommend doing this even if you've already got it working the other way. And if you didn't get it working the other way and you'd like to get it working now, let's do it this way. All of the configuration setup is still the same in that previous video, so if you're just getting to this video the first time and you haven't seen the other one, please check that one out if you'd like to see how to set it up. So first of all, I'd like to read this from Dishmeek, and I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, but uh, I love the avatar by the way, the portal cube. The companion cube, my bad. <laughs> For your launch dedicated server to work, a valid configuration is mandatory. Default setup will not work. We are currently working through a lots of issues with the dedicated servers and still recommend most players continue to play regular P2P, which is peer-to-peer -peer multiplayer. This is you being the host while playing the game at the same time instead of having a server. While the issues are ironed out. So this is still volatile, there may be issues, your server may explode, things might not get saved. They're just warning you, so you're warned. So now let's go ahead and check out how to install this. Let's go to top of the library, go to tools, and in this list, you can find the forest dedicated server. You can set it alphabetically, or you can just go up here at the top where it says search and type the forest, and there it is. Go ahead and right click on that and install game. You may wanna create a desktop shortcut, but it's not gonna be the one we're going to use, so you don't have to and then get that to install. And while that's installing, I do want to mention that uh, the zero out of eight, they know that's an issue um, that you can still have people in there. It could say zero out of eight with actually eight people in the server. However, some people had zero out of zero and, and you couldn't join. What we found out while I was working with somebody, one of the possible issues may be that you don't have Steam, the client Steam, this thing right here, this, you don't have that on where the server is. It's something I found out that you do need. So make sure you have Steam on the computer that's going to run the server and make sure it's running. And for this specific person, what the issue was is their Steam just wasn't working with the dedicated server properly. And what fixed it was just restarting their computer. You may want to just restart Steam specifically itself. You can do that by going down here to the notification area right clicking the steam icon and exiting and starting it again but they restarted it and then it worked for them and they they lost the zero out of zero and they went to a zero out of eight instead all right now that it's finished downloading you're going to want to right click it properties in the tab list you want to click local files browse local files and here we have it installed I've actually already made a dedicated shortcut, but this is what you did in the previous video if you followed the Steam command thing. Now it's installed into your Steam location area though. Also, more importantly, why you want to do this if you've already done the Steam command one is this one's going to update itself automatically. The other one you're gonna have to manage yourself, uh, which could be a good or a bad thing. So what you'll like to do is right click, create shortcut. From there, right click properties, that shortcut, and from my previous video, you may have done the dedicated route or the parameter route. If you don't know what that is, top right in the description or in the comments, I will have that video and you can watch it for the configuration. You can skip and go past the Steam command part and you'll just be moving on to setting up the other parts of the server instead. So right here, we set dedicated because I'm still wanting to use my Steam configura configuration file and it's still in the same location. So if you set that up previously, you're still using that file. I go dedicated route, and now I can run it. I would like to put this on my desktop. So here we go. And I'll replace my other one. Now you have the dedicated server through Steam, which means when they make an update and make it better, you're going to get that change. And when you run your dedicated server, you'll be running the updated server. So this is a good idea. One cool thing I wanted to add, even though you don't really have to do this because you're gonna to have to go to the right click properties anyways on the library is if you copy paste this, I'll put it in the comment in the description and put that into your browser, it'll actually queue into your Steam library and install it for you, which is kind of cool. 
Uh, but again, you're going to have to go into there and create the shortcut and put it somewhere and add the dedicated and all the configuration anyways. So since you're already going to get your hands dirty, this isn't really necessary, but I thought it was cool. So if you put this in your browser, it'll install it for you. Well, thanks to the devs for fixing that up for us. And keep in mind, this is in a volatile state. They're, they're getting out all the bugs and the kinks. Um, I hope they add more features, you know, like being able to see the chat and who's in the game, perhaps type to people to say like, hey, I'm going to close the server down or something without having to log in with an actual character. But this is where we're at right now. So keep that in mind. It's a little volatile, but now you can have an update to what, what they're doing. So hopefully that helps. And if you have any questions, definitely go down below or in my previous video where we go over the configuration settings and I'll try to help out. Uh, if we get more features I'll make videos on that there'll probably be an update so it'll just be an update video and once things get more ironed out I'd like to just make a video called like how to start the dedicated server or something but uh, not quite yet so we're just gonna put them into the update videos as we go and thank you so much for watching I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video thank you take care